So the purpose uh, of this little talk here, you know, we're going to be talking about a lot of details this week, issues that quality student has ran into. We're going to be getting nitty gritty of probably, uh, you know, page and performance and so on. I wanted to take uh, just a little bit to kind of step back and look at the big picture of everything um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, obviously, to kind of recognize uh, the various challenges that we have uh, on the Rice team uh, and as an entire community, uh, but also just to kind of look at how, you know, how much we have accomplished to get to the point we are here, uh, which is, you know, pretty remarkable. So uh, I have a slideshow and everything, but I don't mean for it to be totally formal like that. I'm open to having a conversation uh, as I go through things. If you have any questions, you know, bring those up, or if you want to make extra points, please do, okay? This is really just to kind of guide a little bit of a conversation. So what I was going to talk about is uh, first a little bit about the history of Quali and of Rice. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I, I apologize for people who have heard this before. I know a lot of people have heard that. Um, but I think it's useful uh, because, you know, whenever you work on any project, there's a culture that you're working within. And, you know, if you want to get things done, it's, it's helpful to know about that culture and, and the goals of the different people you're working with and so forth. So I want to just briefly go through that, um, take this up to today. Then I want to look at today and the, and the challenges that we have today facing us on RICE and, and to quality student and other projects. Um, and I'm talking about challenges besides just, you know, technical challenges of creating new functionality. And then moving forward, what are some plans that we have for uh, improving, uh, for dealing with some of these challenges? And then I was going to finish off with just um, – a little section on working with the framework. Um, it's a little bit of just kind of tips that I have for quality student and how you can get the most out of working with the framework. So that's kind of the rough agenda. But but again, you know, I'm open to take this anywhere you guys want to. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Please speak up at any time. So history, uh, Genesis, uh, not that Genesis, uh, the beginning Genesis. Uh, how did Quali get started? Well, uh, Quali was initially just supposed to be a single system, and that was to rewrite IU's financial system. So Indiana University and a handful of other institutions, uh, Hawaii, Cornell, Arizona, Michigan State, probably leaving out one or two, uh, decided to get together to rewrite IU's financial system, which was a desktop application written in a language called Uniface. It's a 4GL language, which was supposed to be dead, and, uh, you know, the company was supposed to, you know, quit supporting the language in like a year or so, and they're still supporting it. So we have a developer at IU who's just living on that because he didn't want to <laughs> convert. He had built, you know, his entire career in Uniface. So, uh, But anyhow, he was kind of, you know, we were moving towards building Java, applications for everything else and you know we had this uh you know desktop financial system that was built in Uniface. So uh they reached out to the Mellon Foundation to to get a grant to do this rewrite. Does anybody know what the Mellon Foundation said at first? No. <laughs> no <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> first of all, open source projects, you know, don't have a very good success rate to start with. <laughs> And then you're going to do an open source project with a bunch of higher ed institutions that are set in their ways, you know. I said, no way. <laughs> but what made the deal happen? Um, IU and others said, well, wait, wait, wait. You know, first, we're not building, we're not redesigning the system from scratch. Okay, it's a rewrite on our current system. So the scope is defined. Okay, that was a big thing. You know, these institutions are not going to, you know, figure out what modules and what functionality. The scope is already set for it. It's a rewrite. And the second thing they said is we're going to build this using proven technology that IU uses currently. Okay, so we already got the technology set. We already got the scope set. 
so with those two things in place, Mellon Foundation said, okay, all right, we'll give you a shot at this. Um, 